Still cleaning parts. What can I say? Welcome back everyone. This is going to be a walk around episode of an Alice Chalmers Model L crawler tractor I found down in Lesseur, Minnesota this last weekend. It's very interesting. But for those of you that watch Kyle Chris's channel on YouTube, you'll know he did a walk around with this same crawler tractor. Now, Kyle leaves the Lesseur swap meet on Friday. He knows I don't leave the Lesseur swap meet until Sunday. Therefore, Kyle knows he can get the jump on me. And Kyle did, because he's mean. That's okay. Uh, for those of you that have already watched Kyle's episode, feel free to click away. For those of you that want to stick around, we'll just call this Battle of the Walkarounds. We can compare styles. And if you haven't seen Kyle's video, well, stay tuned. This one's pretty interesting. Plus, I've been at Lesseur for five days. I'm still cleaning parts for the next Farm LH episode, and I need the watch minutes, so we're rolling ahead with it. Hope you all enjoy. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Here's an interesting walk around for you. It's an Alice Chalmers, and it's big. It's an L. These things have a massive six-cylinder engine in them. Got the gap between all of the, uh, the sets of uh, cylinders in there. Looks like three cylinder heads up top. Yep. Great big hood covering it all. Starting to rain too, but we'll get the walk around in. Radiator core is about like you'd expect it. A couple little uh, damaged spots in it, but looks like they may have had a hydraulic pump mounting up here at one time. And would have been the old twin stack. One would have come out there, one right there. So they have this manifold and then that manifold, each with a separate stack coming up. Big old curved air intake pipe, Zenith carburetor. Looks like we had a gear drive Delco Remy generator on it at one time. Magneto hiding under there. But massive mainspring down here. Undercarriage, we'll take a look at it. Grouser bars are pretty well down. We've had some significant buildup on that front idler. Rails are starting to look skinny. Um, and judging by the witness marks here, there's quite a bit of uh, chain stretch going on as well. And the bushings don't feel like they've been turned, but there is quite a lot of wear on the bottom sides of them. Carrier roller present. This has an interesting, kind of like a, a dog bone link, almost like an equalizer bar that goes across in addition to the mainspring. That's an interesting bit of kit. But yeah, you can see how the idler blocks are getting quite a ways out on the track frame. So there's some pretty good stretch in the chain. And it's also, uh, it's getting a little bit snaky, but must have had a dozer on it at one point in time. A little bit of wear there. Sprockets, yeah, they're getting sharp. But for what these machines have to do, there's, there's life left. The flat steel construction track frames, without the guards, they would collect quite a lot of dirt and it stays there, but yeah. Round back, they had the old wide bench seat on these things cast brackets. That one's been repaired a little bit. I don't know what's inside of these to need this pronounced housing that stretches all the way out at the back like that. Draw bar looks surprisingly good. Not a lot of wear. It's not all egged out. It doesn't look like it's been built up, broken. That's kind of surprising. Fenders used to curve down toward the back. And it adds to the styling. We've got the uh, sprocket guard still in place on this side. Look at the side wear though that's been going on, scalping the edges of this sprocket. They're actually getting sharp back there on the back sides of the gullets. Something's been running out of alignment and you can tell by how tight the chain is to the sprocket edge right there. We could have some bearings loose or some track frame misalignment, something going on, but undercarriage on this side about the same i think we've even had uh we've had some bushings that have worn through down here but yeah a lot of stretch in that chain same carrier roller 
Same link on this side, same amount of play. Yeah, that's an interesting dog bone linkage that runs over to each side. Pivot housing right there. I don't see any signs of buildup on this front idler. Part, or I should say most of the idler guard is still in place here. Rails are getting short and worn, about the same. But Alice was known for their, uh, their big flat operators platforms. And this must be an early one because it still has the steering wheel. That's before they went to the steering levers, one for each side. You can see as I turn the wheel, that shaft rotates through a geared rack in the bottom, goes into the back end. Brake pedals, a little bit of wear toward the bottoms, but not horrible. Must be the main clutch lever. You can see where that's been hitting on the dash, probably due to some, uh, yeah, some excessive play there. Gear shift. And I don't know what exactly this is. Someone more knowledgeable on Alice would be able to say, but a little bit left of the old gauges. I'm assuming this could have been throttle right here. Wow. View out across the hood. They have the old steering on these crawlers was, uh, it's quite the interesting thing. And I'm not sure how big that fuel tank is, but I've been walk arounds on these Alice's, these L's before, and I believe we're running north of 800 cubic inch displacement on these petrol engines. I'm sure fuel consumption was quite high. We've got a number here. Looks like a ML1580, if that means anything to anyone. That starter looks amazingly small <laughs> compared to the size of the engine. But that's all fuel tank. Impressive machine. I gotta wonder if it runs a dual sump or if this low section right here is the main sump where the pickup would be. It looks like it might be. Gusseted, kind of a, I don't know what you wanna call it, kind of a mid frame goes back along that block. Hard to say if that's block support or if that's just uh, upper oil pan. I think we have a dipstick right here. And well, fairly clean looking oil in it. No movement on that crank though. Of course it might just be stiff, but Alice Chalmers L. Made for an interesting walk around. Real brute of a tractor. Thanks for watching everyone.